Happy one. Welcome to my channel. Empress Series 88. My name is Tanya. Alright, let's do a quick read. I just got these new cards in and I'm so excited to use them. Like on the way in. Gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune in to you. And thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. I'm so excited. Tomorrow is the year anniversary of this channel. And I am just so grateful to each one of you for tuning in and supporting my channel. Thank you for that. Let's call in spirit. Let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective. One that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, spirit. All right. Let's freestyle it, baby. Let's find out what is going on with the collective today. These are collective reading, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a designated gender. But if I do say he or she, please excuse and forgive. Okay? Flip the roles as you see fit. It could be talking about you and me and your person. It could be talking about your person and me and you. And if the shoe don't fit or quit, check your placements. You could have more than one astrologically in your chart. My spirit. Jeepers spirit. Today you're on fire. Braid. And what is this one at the bottom of the deck? Eileen Chang. Fate. Mm -hmm. Fate, baby. Fate. So let's read about fate. Well, we already know about fate. Something is faded, but braid, I don't know. So let's look about braid, darlings. Oh, here we go. Identity and opinion of others. And that could be like a rope or a noose around your neck is what I'm hearing. All right, so something is faded. And something... Somebody out there cares more about the opinions of others. Oh, Millie. All right, let's get to some of these little cards here and see what this is all about. Spirit, give me some more information about this. Opinions of others. Maybe that's a, a group identity. Somebody is... more concerned about being part of something like that, a group, than being an individualist. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Spirit, show me what this is all about. Spirit, give me some information about that. Self-indulgence, self-worth, shadow work. So somebody needed to separate themselves from the fray to find themselves to find what it is that they liked was it the friends and opinions that mattered or was it their own self-worth or what they wanted in life more important i think sometimes we can get stuck on that where we're so loving and giving and so involved with other people that we forget or lose ourselves somebody's reminiscing Somebody's cutting ties. Somebody's watching and stalking. Uh, grounding. Somebody needed that stability to grow. I'll put that here. So. Somebody's self-worth and value was attached to a group of people. But... There's somebody that they cared about that maybe they cut ties with because of other people. But they're watching this person. But they're changing, though, by watching this person, is what I'm hearing. They're reminiscing about this person, learning for the past, possibly you they're learning about. Possibly you they're reminiscing about and missing. Is what I'm hearing. They cut ties with you based on other people's opinions. Maybe you weren't their the usual type, or maybe these people in the group thought you weren't gonna fit in with them. Could be family members, could be friends that are family, could be friends, whatever the case. This person identified with this group of individuals and you didn't make the cut, maybe. 
So they cut you out, is what I'm hearing. Cut you out. But they're thinking about you. But they're learning too, they're growing. And their perception of the situation is changing, but they are definitely stalking you like a hawk in the sky, baby. They got their eyes on you still. And they're not telling this group of people either. Yep, they're guilty because they sabotage the connection. They sabotaged. And other people helped with that. They had doubts, feelings of lack. And that created that separation between the two of you. What's this spirit? Yep, in the distance. There's distance. They walked away from you. And this is what keeps them, you know, and that feeling. So debt tears us apart, so they have commitments with another person or with these people or their career is really important to this person or all the above, but they want to start something new with you, the seeds of spring, you know, under the ground, you don't see all this movement of growth that's happening with this person, but it is, yep, they're forming this structure foundation, they needed to do that for themselves, they needed to balance themselves out, structure themselves out. They, it was really chaotic is what I'm hearing. This person's lifestyle all over the place with this friend set, but you're their feminine. You're their feminine and they love you. But they allowed other people to move them to and fro based on the opinion of other people. Other people that they respected took them away from you is what I'm hearing it's going to the tarot because they had their own feelings of self-worth and they attached themselves to these people based on that it's like you your vibe attracts your tribe and they were attracted or they attracted individuals like themselves maybe they see now through these other individuals themselves in the mirror and they don't like what they see I don't like what they see. So they need they need to detach from these individuals too and stand on their own solid foundation, right? Let's a couple more cards before we end it. Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling relationships, romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights, and they're getting it spiritually enlightened by you by watching you. They want a positive experience with you a deeper connection with you by watching you by seeing what you're doing they're getting grounded themselves six of Raphael, embrace your inner child new friends or kindred relationships right your vibe attracts your tribe maybe they are forming relationships or they want to form this solid relationship with you maybe it was a friendship at one time but they turned towards other people they knew longer and believed people that they knew longer about you or about this situation. Maybe they asked for advice from these so-called friends or a particular friend in their group that they trusted. And this person turned them away from you. And it was all based on jealousy. It was all based on the fact that they didn't feel you would fit into this group of people. The high priestess, powerful psychic insights. Yeah, valuable information. So you might be this high priestess that is psychic and offers insights to people. Maybe they're watching you if you have a platform of some sort and they're getting these valuable downloads that are helping them to change. Because I'm hearing they have psychic abilities themselves. Maybe they denied them for a long time or use them in dark ways. Yeah. I'm hearing two of Michael it would be all women it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem fight a compromise so maybe for a long time they stood in limbo not making a choice not wanting to upset the group they they just ghosted you is what I'm hearing two of Ariel it's important to have balance work multiple jobs or projects at one working multiple jobs 
or projects that wants making work fun. Maybe that could be they needed this balance. Maybe you do work. Maybe you work multiple jobs. I don't know. Maybe you are fun at work and people see you as that. Maybe they're looking, watching you and seeing you as a fun individual. I'm hearing that you always made them laugh and think. Yeah. The chariot. Yeah, the chariot. Self-determination and self-control and advancement. Acknowledgement of sex, success by others and maybe people are watching you. Maybe they are seeing you move forward. This group set as well as your person. Seeing you winning, seeing you successful, moving away from them is what I'm hearing. And that's what's getting them in their anxiety is that you're moving forward without them and you're successful without them. And they want to run after you now. They don't want you to get away because they're realizing that the truth, the truth from the lie that you were the, their person all along. You were not what was said about you, whatever that was. So they're manifesting you, the magician. Yeah. They want to be successful. They want a new beginning with you. They see you as the high priestess and they're manifesting the high priestess back into their life. You are valuable to this person. You are their empress as well. 1111 on the clock. Yes. Fertile, beautiful, abundant. They see that. And that's who they want by their side. That's who they want on their arm. They should never have listened to these individuals and they realize that now. Not everybody has your best interests at heart. Maybe they were ulterior motives. You know, they're viewing these people in a different light. These so-called friends. Maybe the spirit is revealing to them what these what the motives of these friends were actually about. It was a, a stoppage, a blockage, a slowing down of sorts so that this person could grow up, mature, and learn and grow spiritually. Three of Gabriel, prosperity arises from wise planning. So they're planning to come towards you. They're making a move. They want to sail away from these individuals. Nine of Michael, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. That's what it's saying. Release. Release any fears and guilt that you might have had. Might, this person might feel really guilty, and it traps them in their mind as to whether they should come towards you or not. Maybe they feel like you would reject them, that type of thing. All right, I need one more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. And you give me three. Spirit, really? Do you listen? No, you don't. Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, inspiration. Uh, inspiration, The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder, and this is what you are doing. You are able to tap into your high priestess empress energy, and you're doing great things. Good for you. And if you're not doing great things now, this is past, present, or future energy at play, you will be. And that is your destiny. And this is your destiny for these individuals that doubted you to see you rise. Good for you. The world, a very happy ending, full circle. So this is going to happen for you. Spiritual growth and insights. You were meant to do great things. The world is ultimate success and achievement. And your person has a destiny as well. But they have to give up and cut ties with individuals that don't align themselves or agree with their beliefs. Maybe for a long time they did, but they don't align with these individuals any longer. 1331 on the clock. King of Ariel. Success, stability. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Use resources wisely. So this is going to be your future. You are going to be abundant, successful, and accomplish great things. And you don't necessarily have to be a, a male to be a king. Maybe they see the success and they want that for themselves. They are planning something here, your person. They are planning something here. And five of Raphael, bottom of the deck. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And where you are or what happened to you does not define your future unless you allow it. If negative things have happened to you in your life, let it go. Learn from the mistakes of the past or whatever present moment you're dealing with stuff and know that it is temporary. Everything is temporary. But these things are meant to help us to grow, whether they're good, bad, or otherwise, and shape us into the person that we're going to become. We can get stuck for a while, lose ourselves for a time, but we will move eventually, ever forward. That is the journey. This is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time.
Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.